Hey guys, this is Kate and I'm here to share with you the December Felicity Jane kit, which I am super excited about. And I just wanted to show you real quick how awesome it comes packaged. I mean, how cute is this? Oh my gosh. There's this big candy cane. I haven't looked at it yet. Um, there's this really cute little, oh my, let's just follow law. And this is like a leather, black leather Christmas tree. She puts such detail in these kits. It's awesome. So I'm just going to show you real quick kind of what it looks like when you first open it. And then I'm going to move it out of the way and show you all of the contents. That is a big candy cane. Look how cute this is. That would be so cute on a gift. I love that. I wonder if she wrote that fall a lot. If she did, she has amazing handwriting. Okay, so let's see. Ooh, ooh, look at this. It's a gold sparkly like deer head. So this is what your kit comes like. And save these things. These are awesome to put in the bottom of like gift bags and stuff. I save on mine. I have a, um, a big um, like Ziploc bag that I put them in. And they're perfect for gift wrap. So I will um, get this unpackaged and show you all of the contents up close. Okay, I just wanted to show you guys something like how awesome it is that these kits come packaged so nicely because my kit, I guess, had an encounter with a mud puddle or something. Um, I don't know if you can see that, but it was, you know, pretty banged up on the side and then it had mud all over it. Well, it turns out that the mud actually got inside of the box. If you can see it there and onto, well, if the paper wasn't in this, it would be covered in that red mud which probably happened somewhere in Alabama because we have that red clay but luckily since it was in this um bag it's not on the paper I don't think but that is a lot of gross mud and it's on my cute tissue paper okay so it did get a little bit inside on the paper but it's just like a tiny bit in the corner and I think I can fix it. So I'm going to start by showing you all the papers and these, I've, if you've watched my other videos of these kits or there's, I've seen some other YouTubers that make videos also, all of these products, um, are exclusive to this kit, probably with the exception of like things that are pre-made, maybe like this washi tape and some of the, some of the trims. I don't think that those, maybe they are, I'm not sure, but most of the, all, most of the things that are designed like with graphics and things are done exclusively um, for these kits and that's the only place you can find them. So the way that these work is that each kit has a name and then those names are printed on the paper. So there's no like name for the individual papers. They're just all called Fa La La because that's the name of the kit. So I'm not gonna worry about telling you that a bunch of times. I'm just gonna go through the papers. So this one is awesome. There are so many things I love that are going on here. Um, first of all, that a lot of my December daily is black and white, so these will be great. Um, another thing that I love about these papers is that the branding strip is another pattern. And I just did a video um, that went up yesterday, and I talked about the brand, not in the video, but in my blog, blog post, I talked about using the branding strips, and it's like a third pattern paper to me. Because, not, I mean, obviously you can't layer with it, but um, to put like on the top and bottom of a layout or just to add like a little something. I just love that. And I love that they're usually different than the patterns that are on the A and B sides. Okay, so you get here 10 three by four cards and then one four by six that's in the middle, which I like that. I've never seen an orientation of cards like this before. Um, this one is perfection, I think. It's antlers with some little holly and berries and it says 2014. And then you have a couple that you can use vertically or horizontally, I think at least, like this one you could use either way. And then this one I think you could use either way. And this one really too. You know, making a list. And it has this really pretty like grayish khaki color also incorporated in here that I think is really pretty. And then the back side of that is, ooh, I do love this too. It's a white um, with a khaki like grid on it which is really pretty then this paper is that same like khaki color let me zoom in just a little bit um some people like to see them the whole 12 by 12 and some like to see it zoomed in so um since i'm doing this in real time i can't really do both but i'll try to hold it up so it's um like that taupey khaki color um with the white small white polka dot 
And then the other side is a black and white, just traditional gingham. And the bottom is this kind of punch scallopy looking design. Ooh, I really like this. The black and white print, it has the same like khaki toned little trees at the bottom. And I'll pull this up so you can see the pattern. It's a really cool pattern. I don't know how to describe it. And then I really like this page too. It's, um, they're like North Stars looking, but they're more concentrated at the top and then they are more sporadic towards the bottom and I really like that. And it's that same kind of, I'm gonna call it grayish because it's like a gray beige color. Oh, I love this one. It's just a black with white um, triangles. And the black on this paper is super black because sometimes you get black paper and it's got a little gray tint to it. This is a true black. Grayish with white stars, super cute. Oh, I really like this. Um, oh, I like the plus ones at the bottom. Um, this is a larger polka dot. And then just a great classic bold black and white stripe, which I adore. Oh my gosh, these might be my favorite papers so far of all time. So three pieces of cardstock. There's a nice bright kind of blue based red. It's not an orangey red. A kind of um, avocado green or pea green and then a white. So they coordinate perfectly with the kit. Very, very pretty. And then also in your package with your papers is going to be a cut apart sheet. This one's a little bit different than previous ones. Um, there is no perforation and they are not punched out or stickers or anything like that. You cut them yourselves. I love these strips here. Um, these are really cool because you can cut out the, like, the Mary part and make it like an arrow and then when you what you'll have left with is a pennant of this so those are really cool really simple to cut out um the only one that i think might be harder than the others is the circle but i'm sure that fits some sort of standard circle punch love these tabs those are super fun so just really nice versatile things in the colors that coordinate with the kit and now on to the rest of the goodies so there is a roll of it's gold, but it also has silver flecks in it, if that's possible. Well, I guess it is possible because that's what it is. <laughs> wow. Great video, Kate. Um, I'm trying to find the start. Here it is. So it's a tiny bit transparent. You know, it's not like a traditional glitter tape. It's more like a washi tape, but let me see if it rips. Oh, it rips like kind of like washi. That is really pretty. And you get quite a bit on there. So that is fun. Let's stick that on the side. I don't want to waste it. And then there's this little like pillow box with it looks like oh no, it got dirty. You see that? Like I'm gonna have to take it out. Ooh. Well, let me try from this end so I don't get dirt on the Oh no, I don't know what is up with the mail service lately, but this is ridiculous. You see all that mud on there? I'm gonna have to throw that away. I don't want it getting on everything. Okay. So there's some, um, this looks like yarn, like black yarn and some thin like hemp twine and then a thicker like hemp twine. Oh, and then it looks like a gold and a silver of the same things. I'm just going to leave these on the table. They'll probably be easier to see. I just cleaned my table too. Or my desk. A little um, gingham, a little rickrack, some like white natural cord, um, some of the avocado -y green, and then this is super fun. It's like eyelash trim in like a cream or white color. So it looks like there's, I don't know, enough to tie like a bow or around a tag or something. I'd probably use these on tags. Um, so you get those and then there's a little glassine bag. I just love the packaging of all this stuff with her little, um, logo and there's just so much care that goes into these kits. And I think that it's really evident by the, the packaging. Um, cute, cute, cute. So three little bows. There's a gold sequin bow of silver. I've been wanting a gold sequin bow so bad. You have no idea. I've even looked at that on Etsy. 
um, a silver sequin bow, and then a little gingham bow that is on a gold paper clip. So that is all kinds of cute. And then there's an alphabet. And I was saying in my last video, I've never seen these bags before that are like plastic and then tie. And then I got one, I think it was in my studio calico or something order. Some stuff came in one, but I saw it here first. Um, so I'm obviously doing this in real time and not prepared at all because I can't even get this open. So this is the alphabet. There's always some kind of interesting alphabet in the kits. Whoa, this is super cool. So this is kind of like that. Oh, I see an amber sand. This is kind of like that embellishment from the, what was the name of that kit? It was the last one I showed. There was one in between that I didn't get. This one is, what was this kit called? Sorry, y'all. I'm trying to figure it out for you. The Claire kit. And it's like a, um, I'll just show it to you. It's like, because if you got the kits, you know what I'm talking about. It was this big My Happy Place embellishment that was like kind of plasticky. It was so cool. Um, it kind of, they kind of remind me of that, but they're an alphabet and they're this awesome red color. I love this color red because it's not orangey. Um, let's see, there's some asterisks. I see some like dots maybe for periods or, yeah, because they're all capital letters. Um, do we have numbers? I guess that's an exclamation point, maybe. Um, I'm not, I don't think I'm seeing numbers. No. Just letters, but there seem to be quite a few of each. I see at least three O's. Um, there's some e, multiple E's. So I think you get a pretty good variety in here there I see at least two E's but I just really like that that is so cute and gonna be so much fun to use then there is this little adorable oh focus look at that it's a gold I mean it's a gold no it's a black glittery I don't even know how that is on there deer head on this little muslin bag I might have to use this to give to some someone special to give them something special in because this is just too cute. Or I could try to put it in my December daily somewhere, but I don't know. I might want to pass it along. Oh, so inside of the bag is another little bag that holds, oh my gosh, I hear jingle bells. So much stuff. So much cute, cute stuff. Okay. I'm just going to dump it all out. So there's, what is this? Oh, it's like a wood button, but it's like real wood. Let me see if you can, look at that. It's like a real little limb. Like they sliced a limb really, really thin and then put two holes in it for a button. That is really cute. And then there are some red buttons also. I see two red buttons, um, two gold, let me just do this two gold clothes pins. So we have the two red buttons. Um, looks like two wood veneer stars. And then there are also the little wood punch outs. And there are two that you could use. Whoa, I see, I think four jingle bells, two gold and two silver. Oh, there's like four little wood dots those are cute so it's like confetti I also see some like gems it looks like I'm sorry guys this is I'm just not oh here's another little wood dot those are so cute okay so I see like four little like flat back gems or rhinestones and then there's some white and red like confetti you know it doesn't have holes in it and then there are some star sequins. There seems to be like three silver and three gold. And then there are also some silver and gold sequins, some little ones. Here's some more of those rhinestones. Okay, and then here's the like white and 
um, red confetti and then some gold, a couple gold and silver pieces of confetti. All right, let me move this out of the way. And then there are four flare buttons and I love these because they're small flare buttons and I find them so easy to use. That reindeer is adorable. It's like a cross-stitched reindeer. No peeking, a um, snowflake, and then kind of that grayish color with a black Christmas tree on it. Really, really, really cute. And then there's one more little thing of embellishments and then I'll show you the stamp set. So there's this um, really cute craft bag with a tiny dot on it and there's, there's stuff inside of it also. Oh, fun. So there's, ooh, pretty. There are three doilies. There's silver, gold, and red. And then there are two little tags. This one's really cute. And then a little chalkboard tag with a craft reinforcer and then a little gold dot um, glassine bag. And then last but not least is the stamp set and it comes inside of an Avery L um, pocket for you all ready to go. So that's a really great storage um, method of storage. And then this is a photopolymer made in the USA stamp set. It has a little um, like temporary glue dot there that I'm just gonna take off. Made in the US stamp set. It is so cute. So you have Christmas. I love the font of that traditions. These are really cute. A little bit of magic. December 25th, Merry and Bright Joy. Um, a really pretty banner. And I'm guessing that Tis the Season fits in that banner and maybe December, but I think Tis the Season definitely does. Um, that's super cute. You can put the numbers in there. Um, some stars and dots, a little like branch, and then um, numbers one, zero through nine. So really fun, versatile stamp set. I absolutely love this kit. I think it is so different and just really pretty and you can tell the thought that goes into it and I just think it's a beautiful um, Christmas kit. And you can, you can sign up for a three month subscription which I think would make a great Christmas gift to the crafty peeps in your life um, or to yourself. So make sure to check out Felicity Jane. I will have the link below and um, I will definitely have a process video coming up soon of using this kit because I don't think I can wait. Thanks guys so much for watching and I'll see you real soon. Bye.